hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen how y'all doing today i'm gonna make what roast chicken so i'm like what is in my fridge so i got some carrots i got some peppers i got some chocho and i'm gonna stuff it with this i have my green seasoning over here like i showed you guys in the previous video that i have and I have my chicken, and I have, have my chicken, whole chicken, whole young chicken, and I have my potatoes. So I have sweet potato, and I have Irish potato, because I just like when I do the garlic potatoes, he likes it. So I'm going to do that, but how y'all go, how y'all doing, going, how y'all doing? I'm having a good day. Um, I went out. I got some stuff for the house. I picked up some shoes, some boots for Alex for work. So we're gonna get into it. So I am going to season my meat, okay? So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave it in the sink because I don't wanna be going back and forth with the chicken. So I'm gonna use my dash like always. Use some adobo. And I'm gonna use my Montreal seasoning. And then I got my green seasoning. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna season both sides. Season both sides. I am gonna stab my meat, guys. Cause I didn't get a chance to marinate it overnight. No, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to marinate it overnight. So this is just me seasoning it up. Seasoning it up. Okay. So when I stab it, guys, it's just a simple. I take my knife, wash it off. Take these things in the back. Wash it off. And all I do is I just, I just stab the chicken. I stab it up. Try not to stab your bowl. And then I turn it over. Turn it over on the breast side. And I just put some stabbings in there. I'm gonna show you guys. So y'all can see me over there. But I just stab with my chicken so that the flavor can get in. Like I said, I didn't get a chance to really um season so i'm gonna show you guys. so this is what it this is what it looks like guys when i stab up my um chicken i stab it up on this side and on the other side so right now i'm continuing to season so y'all can see so i got my montreal seasoning then i have my adobo And then I have my dash. Now I'm going to go in with a lemon. I'm going to cut a lemon up. And then I'm going to sprinkle it all over my chicken. So I'm going to take my lemon. Put my chicken here. Rinse out my thing real quick. Whenever you're dealing with chicken, guys, try your best to clean up after yourself. Cross contamination is no joke. So I try to do it as I go. Yeah. Okay. So wash off your lemon. Okay, nice. Just cut it in half. Cut my lemon in half, guys. And just squeeze it over. Season all. Squeeze it over my chicken. This is like a rotisserie chicken. Literally, guys, I just whatever's in my fridge. Oh shit, I should have put that inside of it. It's okay. 
So now I'm gonna bring my chicken over here. Wash off my hands. Wash off the table. So here we are. So I got my powder seasoning all done. Put those away. Guys, the best thing to do when you're um when you have I have my son right here cooking it's to just every time I touch something and I, I'm cooking with it I put it right back so I'm gonna take my green seasoning and I'm gonna take wash off my hands I'm gonna take two I wanna say two tablespoons so what I'm gonna turn the chicken over actually I'm gonna turn it over guys so you want the seasoning to get into there okay so I'm gonna put the seasoning. I'm gonna use my hands. Just rub it in. So this has cilantro, garlic, um, parsley, the whole nine, a lime. It has a lot in here, guys. So it's gonna nicely flavor my food. I'm gonna put it in this oven. Make sure it's gonna get the neck part. Yep. Turn it over now. Give it some season on this side. Rub a dub dub. I'm gonna give your chicken a little bath. A little bath. I'm gonna rub it up. Usually people will use gloves. Oh, I'm okay with not using gloves right now. So I split it down the middle because I wanted to clean out what was inside, obviously. But look at that, guys. Look at that seasoning. Look at that. So, you don't need much salt because everything I'm going to season in the pot. So I'm going to actually taste it. It's perfect. Don't need no salt. It has a perfect amount of pepper. The perfect amount of pepper. I say the perfect amount of pepper. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this chicken. This marinated chicken. Into my pan. That's right here. It's going to be the hard part. It's going to be the hard part. But you know, it's a, actually, you know what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to put the potatoes first. I'm going to wash off my hands. Really good. Wash off my hands. Okay, I'm going to rinse off my potatoes. I had it soaking in some water. Cold water, guys. Okay. So right now, I have my potatoes here. See them here? My potatoes. So I'm going to take my garlic and onion mixture that's in the fridge. Remember I told you guys I have two little mixtures. This is garlic and onion. I'm going to take this mixture. I'm going to put a little bit. Not a lot. Not as much as I put in the chicken. I'm going to put a, just a little touch. I'm going to mix it up. I don't want too much. I don't want it to overpower. Yeah. Put that much in there. Put a little bit of my seasoning in here. My dry seasoning. A little of the adobo. A little bit. A little bit of this. A little bit. This is like a one pot meal, guys. Because once I put it in the oven, put it in the oven to forget both it. Yeah. So this is my potatoes. Let's see, is it really Taste your food, guys. Taste your food. You don't taste your food, how you know it's gonna taste good. I'm gonna take this off. So I can put my potatoes down first. I'm gonna put my potatoes down first. Okay, yeah. Potatoes go down first. Let me see, I don't know. You guys can see that right here. Thanks. And I'm actually gonna put 
Should I put this in there or should I put it? I'm trying to think what's the best way. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put it in the middle here. No, I'm not gonna do that. What can I do? People, sometimes I be cooking on a whim. I just figured out as I go. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna put my chicken down. One, two, three, move. Okay. Put it right side down, like so. Like so. And now, bless you, baby. Bless you. I'm going to season up this too, because everything needs seasoning, guys. You don't have to put a lot, you just yeah. put a touch. A little, at least a touch, so everything has seasoning. You don't want no fresh, fresh food. But then again, you don't want no salt. So, watch my again. Toss, toss, toss. You have your chocho. You have your peppers. I didn't put no onion because I have onion in my seasoning. So, yeah. I didn't put no thyme because thyme is in my... Everything is in my seasoning, guys. So, yeah. Taste it. It's good. So, I'm going to put... Let me show you guys. I'll get close. Up close and personal. I'm gonna put this seasoning in here. In the vegetables. Toss them around. See that? Toss them around. Toss them around. This is gonna cook up with everything else. It's gonna be like my little veggies. And I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna put them on the bottom. To save myself the, ang the anxiety. So I can pick this up. Yes, I can pick this up. Put this over here. See? Multitask. Put my veggies right there. What? Yes. Move this around so. Yes. I'm going to cover them up. I'm happy right now. Yes, that's dinner. See how that look, guys? Like it's so good. The colors and everything it looks so good. I just finished washing my hands. But look at that. Look at the chicken. No time it's season up. No time. And then look underneath. I have my veggies, my potatoes, just ready for the oven. So I'm going to cover this. No, I'm not going to cover it. I'm going to put it in the oven so it can get some color. Then I'm going to cover it so that it can steam. Okay, so it's usually you would cover it for it to steam and then take it off. I'm doing the opposite. So I put my, my oven on 350 degrees. And I'm going to take this whole rack. This rack is the best rack I've ever had in my life, guys. And I'm going to put the rack, the whole rack, in my... Yeah, in my oven and I'm going to put it in there for about 40 minutes and then I'm going to come back and check it you see how quick that was it's 3 o'clock I put everything <laughs> I put everything in there I put vegetables I put potato I put the chicken cause sometimes guys comment down below I don't have the time to do every single this, this, and that. I'm literally going to just probably make a vegetable with that on the side. And because technically the peppers and the chocha is like a stuffing. So I'm going to eat that with the potato. So I'm probably just going to put, I don't know what I was going to eat with it, but probably like even a plant in the camp. Actually, I got to make two plantain. Yes, put two plantain in the oven. I boil two plantain and that is dinner. See how quick, quick that was? So when it come out the oven, guys, or when I change it up, when I'm putting on the um the foil paper on it, I'll come back to you guys. So comment, subscribe, guys. Comment down below. Comment down below. Um, what you think about the dish? Put on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you will be notified. And yeah, all them good things. So I'm having a, I'm having a good week. How we did my hair. You guys probably see that video. Um, tell me what you think. I'll be back. Right, Papa? So we're gonna 
We're gonna eat. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna take out the potato because I just checked it, and it's been about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna check the potatoes. The potatoes actually, potatoes was, was about done. Ooh, ooh, hot steam. <laughs> so I'm gonna take out, take it out. The chicken is not done, guys not done but I know the veggies are neither done so what I'm gonna do is see don't do this at home see the chicken is not done yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this is where the chicken is okay I'll put it in my thing I'm gonna take this out Put it in here. And then I'm going to toss around my veggies and my potato. See how that looks now, guys? See? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a foil pan and I'm going to put it under the broiler so that it can get color. Or you can leave it like this if you want. If you don't think you need any more color and you're good. Then leave it like this, but personally, I need more color. So here, this is what it look like. Y'all see that? Yeah. So I'm going to take it out. I'm gonna put it in my tin foil. Be very gentle, guys. Wear your mittens. Don't burn your hands. Yes. So my chicken. Ooh, turn this around. My chicken is here. Where am I gonna put the chicken? Where am I gonna put the chicken? Oh, I'm gonna put the chicken over here because it's not dripping or nothing. I'm gonna put the chicken over here. Now I'll wipe it off when I'm done. I take this, transfer it over here. Okay, I'll take my spoon. Put it in here. Now I'm gonna take the chicken. Put the back in here. No spillage. No spillage. See, my chicken is not done, guys. Not done. So what I'm gonna do now, since it's breast side up, is it's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna cover it with some foil paper. Let it go on steam out. We didn't get as much color as I wanted. But I don't want the breast to dry up. So I'm just gonna cover it like that. So trial and error, guys. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. I'm gonna put it back in the oven. And I'm gonna put our potatoes, see that guys, under the broiler. But not not long. Not long at all. This will be like literally. Two, two minutes not long because the broiler the broiler this broiler is, is the works you leave it under there too long you yeah, get it's gonna be burnt period so I'm gonna cook that chicken I already put my covering over it when I take my covering off after 20 minutes I know my my meat is cooked I'm gonna then put that under the broiler to get my good color and that's it so we are almost done actually I'm gonna boil up these plantain now since I said we're gonna make plantain yeah so I have a pot of water for my plantain I'm gonna salt my water guys salt the water cover it so I can get up to a boil remember every time you cover your pot it boils faster so my potatoes been in the oven for maybe I want to say two minutes because my broiler has to get you know heated up so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out now take it out okay oh nice and colorful you want more color guys 
but I just need a little bit of color. That's good. I always do that. Touch things that's hot. So I'm gonna cover this so it look guys tangle up. See how it look. I'm just gonna probably put some paprika and some parsley, and that's it. I'm going to taste it too. Make sure you taste your food. Make sure you taste your food. <laughs> yeah, you got to taste your food, guys. See if it tastes good. I'm going to put some paprika. Find it in here. Paprika. It's not the smoke kind. It's just regular paprika, guys. And I'm going to get some parsley. Where is my parsley? Yes. Some people put oil. As you can see, I didn't put a lick of oil. I guess it was the grease from the from the from the chicken. But I didn't put no oil. It looks it looks great, guys. It looks so good. Show you guys I get the finishing. How it look with the seasoning. So it look. It looks good. I'm gonna cover this till my chicken is ready. I'm actually gonna put it to the side this way. Because I'm gonna put my chicken here. Alright. Yep, that's it. So waiting for that chicken now. So I'm gonna cover it. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. It's hot. Be careful. This is a chocho. Hot. Mmm. Guys, it still have the bite. Wow, that bad. That bad. I'm gonna cover it. I am so impressed. I'm gonna cover it. On paper. Wait till my chicken is done, guys. Okay, my chocha is nice and al dente bad so I cut the plantain I don't know if you guys can see it in here I cut the plantain slice it down the middle slice it in half and I put it in a boiling water so with some salt so it's going in it's bubbling yeah so y'all can see that my chicken is still in the oven guys I'm probably gonna wait like 10 more minutes then I'm gonna put it up to the boiler so it can get nice and crips. Then I'm gonna lay it on my potatoes. All right, guys. So it's time to take out the chicken. It's been in there for a little bit. I put it under the broiler. It looks very good. Wow. Ooh. It looks so good, guys. So I don't know if I had to show you guys the lemon pep, the garlic butter that I have. Look at that chicken. I don't know. Look at it. Looks good. So what I'm going to do is I have some garlic butter sauce in the fridge that I had from a while. Um, when did I cook? When I made something. So I have some in here. So I'm going to put some on here just to give it Keep that breast nice and moist. So let me show you guys. So I'm gonna put it on here. Just on the top. I'm gonna sit there and marinate in there. The garlic, the butter. Yeah. And it's a good butter, guys. So I'm gonna cover this. And I'm gonna careful, Baba. 
See how it's nice and crispy? Yeah. I'm going to put it in the crevices of the chicken. Excuse my son, guys. He had a no lie, though. He had a piece of the potato, and he's like, oh, he's like, oh, my goodness, it's tastes so good. But I guess he can't wait to eat. So I have the butter I'm going around it with. It don't have no salt, guys. It's just garlic butter. I'm putting it on it just so it can stay moist. And that's how it looks. Let me show you guys how it looks. So that is how it looks. See how it's soaking in to the chicken? Yeah. So... I'm going to move this into my pan with my potatoes. It's going to be risque, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to put on my gloves. And I'm going to get This is my garlic. See, that's, that's that seasoning, guys. That's all seasoning. Then I put the garlic on top. I got my potato. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in the oven, just so that that can seep into the crevices of my chicken, give it a little bit more moistness, and that's it. So here's dinner, guys. And then I have my plantain. Plantain is here, and that's it. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. Another successful dinner. Yes. It looks amazing.